factorizing. Now we remember, factorize means to put the brackets in by dividing. Because factorizing is the opposite of expanding. Expanding means to take the brackets out by multiplying. So factorizing, we put the brackets in by dividing. And we do this by finding the highest common factor of two terms and dividing. And we'll work out what that means and how to do it. Now, just to remember expanding. Expanding means taking the brackets out by multiplying. So 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 2 is 6. And that was positive 6, so I write plus 6. And that is expanding. Take the brackets out by multiplying. Now the opposite of expanding is factorizing. So factorizing must go from this back to that because it reverses what the expanding did. If you factorize when you've expanded, you'll just get right back to the same thing. So when I did the expanding, I multiplied twice. I had to divide, so I had to multiply by three here and here. When I factorize, I'll need to divide by 3 twice in this case. Factorizing means find the number, pretend we didn't know that, find the number that goes into both of these. It's 3. Put it out the front of the brackets and then divide both of the terms by 3. 3x divided by 3 is x, 6 divided by 3 is 2, and it was positive 2, so we write plus 2. That's factorizing, and you'll see it got us right back to the start. Now we haven't really learned how to do factorizing yet. I'm just showing you that expanding gets rid of the brackets. And factorizing puts them back in and gets right back to where we started. We need both skills. First, we do have to remember what the highest common factor is. And it's just the biggest thing that we can divide both terms by evenly. Remember, factors are numbers that multiply to give a number, so we can divide it by, sorry, never mind that, factors multiply to give me a number. So the factors of 6, what could I times together to get 6? There would be 6 and 1, or 2 and 3. 15 now remember you can always have the number itself and 1, 15 and 1 or 3 and 5. So basically what that says is I can do, because these times to give me 6, I can do 6 divided by these numbers. I want to find the biggest number that both of these can be divided by. It's never going to be bigger than the smallest one. So I don't have to go any bigger than 6. So right away I know it's not going to be the 15. And I want the biggest number. 1 is always going to be there, but it's no use to me because I want bigger than 1 because I'm going to be dividing. Dividing by 1, there's no point. So then I've got 6. Does 6 go evenly into 15? No, I can't do 6 times anything to get 15. Go to the next factor down. 6 can be divided by 2 or 3. 3. Yes, 3 goes into 15. So that's what I mean when I say the highest common factor. 
Common just means shared. So which number goes into both terms and I want the biggest one? So 9 and 18. Always start with the smallest number and check. Does 9 go evenly into 18? Yes, it does. Because 9 times 2 is 18. So 18 divided by 9 is 2. 9 goes into 18. I don't need to look any further. The HCF is 9. Whereas here, 6 doesn't go into 15. So I need to go to the next one down. 3. 3 goes into 15. HCF is 3. And here 4x and 4. Now I've been tricky here and I've put the x in. Because what goes into 4x? Well 4 or x or 1. Does 4 go into 4? Yes. But the x doesn't go into both of them because there's no x over here. So the HCF here is 4. We'll practice those some more. So the steps when I'm factorizing the first thing I have to do is find the HCF, the highest common factor. I write the HCF outside some brackets. And I divide each term by the HCF. Let's follow these steps. Factorize means put the brackets in by dividing. First step, find the HCF. Look at the numbers and the letters. 4 and 8. Smallest number, 4. Does it go evenly into 8? Yes, it does. HCF equals 4. Check the letters. X no x. So x doesn't go into both of them. So HCF is 4. Write the HCF outside brackets. So 4x plus 8 equals 4 and brackets. Divide each term by the HCF. I'm going to do 4x divided by 4 and 8 divided by 4. 4x divided by 4 is x. Write it in here. Second term. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And was it positive or negative? They're positive. I write plus 2. You've factorized. You've put the brackets back in by dividing. Let's do this one. 5y plus 5. Look at the numbers. 5. Well, 5 goes into both of them. Y doesn't go into both of them. HCF is 5. Write the highest common factor outside the brackets. 5 outside of brackets. Divide each term by the HCF. 5Y divided by 5 is Y. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and it was positive, I write plus 1. You've factorized. Let's do another one. 6x minus 15. Factorize it. Put the brackets in. First step. Look, it says factorize. You know you're going to have to find the highest common factor. That's why it's called factorizing. Look at the numbers, 6 and 15. Does 6 go into 15? No. Next factor down, 3. Does 3 go into 15? Yes, it does. HCF is 3. X is only in this one, not there. HCF out the front of the brackets. 6X divided by 3 is 2X. Negative 15 divided by 3. Remember, if we see a negative, we should circle it. Negative 15 divided by 3, negative 5. 12x minus 18. HCF 
Does 12 go into 18? No. Does 6 go into 18? Yes. HCF is 6 outside the brackets. 12x divided by 6 is 2x. Negative 18 divided by 6 is negative 3. You've done. 8x plus 10y. Now there's letters in both of them now. Look at the small number first. Numbers then letters. Does 8 go into 10? Nope. Does 4 go into 10? Because that's the next one down. Nope. Does 2 go into 10? Yes. HCF equals 2. Look at the letters. Are there any letters in common? No, I've got X and Y. So HCF is 2. Put it outside the brackets. 8X divided by 2 is 4X. 10Y divided by 2 is 5Y. And that was positive, so I put a plus. Last example, x squared minus 3x, getting to extensions now. That's a 1. There's no point in having a 1. Does 1 go into 3? Sure, it does. But dividing by 1 doesn't help me. But x squared and x, x goes into both of them. The HCF is 1x, or just x. Put the HCF out the front x squared divided by x is x. There's a negative, circle it. Negative 3x divided by x is negative 3. Bit extension question there. That was factorizing.